All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this HP Pavilion X360M convertible. Um, this is model 11M-AD113DX. So first what you wanna do, um, you'll need a PH1 and a PH0 screwdriver. Um, so first what you wanna do is peel up this rubber piece on the back here. Just get your fingernail underneath or a pry tool and then peel it up just like this. All right, once you do that, the back screws, the back three screws here are PH ones. All right, so just remove all three of those. The screw seems to be kind of stuck. I might have to use a magnet for this. Huh, why is it so stuck? They must have cracked the, the thing that holds it underneath. So if it gets stuck like that, you will have to use like a flathead screwdriver. Let me see if I can show this. Um, but basically, get the screwdriver underneath. Oops. Oh, this one's tough. Okay, get the screwdriver underneath, and then while you twist it, try and pry it up. Okay, and hopefully that'll release the screw. There we go. Just like that. All right, so remove those three screws. Alright, is this one stuck too? I hope not. Use my fingernail. Alright, um, after you remove those three, switch to the PH0 or J0 screwdriver and remove the three screws on the front. Alright, this one was liquid damaged. Um, I have another one that's not liquid damaged, so once I open this, I'll show you. Um, the inside of that so because this will probably look all broken okay all right so once you get all the screws out I found it's easiest to actually open the screen and flip it upside down so bring it back so flip it all the way over all right and then while you have that Get your fingernails or pry tool in the gap here between the silver and the black layers. And then I'll pull on that while I push on the bottom. All right, so just like this, just go around. All right, hopefully you can see what I'm doing, but basically you just go around all the edges and pry this cover up just like that. All right. Other side, same thing. I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing. It's really close up to the camera. Um, okay, so once you get those sides and that out, there is a clip in the middle, so it will be kind of difficult. Um, but basically, you go, oops, I clipped it back down. You go all the way around, okay. Then you go to the back towards the hinges. Same thing, lift it up and then pry under. So if you have your fingernail or pry tool, um, lift up the black or dark gray area and then just slip your pry tool in between like this and it will pop up the layers just like that. All right, once you got that, you'll just have to be careful because the cable, there's two cables underneath here. I don't know if I can show this, but um, let's see here. So pretty much you'll open the cover like this and then underneath, the keyboard has a little latch here that you need to kind of flip. So once you flip that latch, you can pull the connector out. Same thing with the um, trackpad cable. So the trackpad cable, you can actually kind of lift it this way. And then you can reach the connector that way. Flip up the little latch and then you can pull it out. So you can see the latch here and the latch here. Okay. So yeah, this one has like some soda spill. I can see the sticky residue. Um, okay. I don't think this one will be savable, so this one I will probably leave it be. It looks like some components here got damaged. All right, so we'll set this one aside. The other one actually has a bad hard drive, so I'll show you the other one. It's basically the same exact thing, but um, yeah, so you got the hard drive here. There's a connector here for the hard drive. Just flip that up. And you can remove the hard drive connector like that. Um, if you need to replace the hard drive, just pull this rubber thing out and the whole hard drive comes up just like this. Um, you can change this to a 2.5 inch um, SATA SSD, 
You just have to remove this rubber stuff, undo this foil, and then you can pull out the connector here. So I don't think there's any metal piece to this. It's all just this rubber. So you don't really need to peel all the foil out, just the foil from the front to remove the SATA connector. All right, then you got the speakers here. There's two speakers here and then another speaker here. So this computer has three speakers. They all seem to connect to this one connector here. You got the battery here. Um, the battery comes out by just taking the screws out and it lifts straight up. So I'll show you that. Usually when you deal with anything like the LCD connectors, like these two, you want to remove the battery and hold the power button to drain any po residual power. Um, because I've had some people, they try and just pull that connector out and then they fry like their screen or the backlight um, circuits and then their screens won't turn on anymore. If you do that, it's an expensive repair to have the board repaired, the board circuit repaired, and sometimes it'll even damage the screen. So just be careful when you do that. All right, so on the bottom, on the battery, there's five screws. There's two up here, then there's a third, four, five, okay? So once you get all those screws out, you should be able to get your fingernail or pry tool underneath this little tab, and then just lift it up just like this, and then you should be able to pop this out just like that. Okay, so there you go. If you need to replace the battery, it's the model KN02XL. All right. The RAM, I don't know if it's replaceable, but if it is, I mean, there's a big gap on the bottom, so it's likely, very likely that it's replaceable, but you will have to um, take the whole motherboard out. Um, the As you can see, the wireless card is actually underneath this cable, and there's the one antenna here. Um, so let me hold the power button and drain the power from this one. Okay, usually hold it for about 15 seconds or so just to drain any residual power. All right, um, the speaker connector to remove that, just go by the edges and then just wiggle it and it'll pop out. Don't try and just pull straight out and just keep wiggling it, it'll pop out. Then you got the power button connector here and the power button board. So if you need to replace that, you can just flip up the little latches, pull the cables out and there's one screw holding that button in place. Um, I believe this is for the camera or possibly the touchscreen. Um, usually it's for like the camera and the microphone. Here you can see the wireless card underneath. So if you do need to change out the wireless card, you do have to remove the whole entire motherboard. Um, I'm not going to do all of that. I could possibly do it on the liquid spilled one, but um, most people aren't going to go through the effort to completely disassemble one of these. Um, I might do that just to show it. So you got the DC jack here, same thing, this connector, just wiggle it and it pops out. Um, so if you need to replace that, you can. You have to remove the whole motherboard again as well because they put this stupid metal piece on top. You might be able to get away with removing a few of these screws and then hopefully it'll lift up. We'll find out when I remove the other one. But yeah, here's the LCD connector. All right, now I'll go back to the other one and see if it is... Let's see, I'll remove everything from this one just so you can kind of see. Uh, okay, let's remove the battery. This one's liquid damage, so it's completely dead already. We will remove all the screws and see. All the screws inside use a PH1 or J1 screwdriver bit, so just so you know that. All right. So I'll try and remove all those screws. Alright, same thing as the other one. I found it's easiest if you lift that, get your fingernail underneath there, and then push on the corner here, and that pops the battery out very easily. Okay, we'll undo the speaker here. Alright, it doesn't look like the speaker's on top of the board, so I will leave that, take out the hard drive. Looks like this one, the hard drive connector got damaged. Yeah, it's completely gone wow that's crazy unless that's the design oh that's the design interesting so this hard drive connector actually is just missing some pins i haven't seen that before um okay so we'll take out the power button remove the clip move the one screw all right you can see the power button's coming up just be careful with it Alright, so we got the power button cable out. 
All right, underneath there, you got the, I think that's the lock mechanism. Most people don't use that. Um, all right, let's remove this cable. And we'll remove this cable. Okay, so remove the DC jack. All right, now we'll remove all the screws for the motherboard. All right. I don't know if these screws are different sizes. They all appear to be about the same size, except for the ones from the bottom of the computer. Um, but usually I try and keep them from getting mixed up. I try and keep them in the order that I took them out. So I put them back the same way. You never know. So it's always better to not worry about it and just keep them all in the right order. So that way you don't have to worry if you do end up mixing something up. All right. So I'll remove the screw for the wireless card. You will have to remove the wireless antenna. Just pop this up. All right, pull up from the tail. Don't try and pry up from the front of the connector or you can damage it. All right. It's a lot of screws in this little computer. Okay. It's nice that they actually mark them so you know, and they mark the type of screw, M2 by L4. So I think that's like the length is four millimeters or something. And the two is probably like the width of the, the, the screw. All right, so I'll just remove all the screws here. All right, after we remove all the screws, hopefully the board will just lift up. Let's see, it's, is it getting caught on something? Okay, I think the headphone jack gets caught in the side. It is getting kind of stuck. Hopefully I don't have to, okay, it doesn't look like I have to remove the hinges to get this out, but you will probably have to flex this. So this side does come up first, so you can, I think, remove this. Oh, how do they hold that on there? That's weird. Okay, I'm just gonna remove the motherboard first. Okay, you have to lift it from this side and then you can pull it out. So, oh God, there's a lot of um, dried up Coke there. So they spilled this, they said about a year ago. Um, but anyways, the wireless card you can see is right here. Um, I don't know how the sticker's not holding it. So I guess you just pull this out. It's stuck very strongly. Oh, they put an adhesive on it, I think. So you will have to pull the wireless card away from that adhesive, it looks like. Um, hmm. I guess I'll just try and pull it out. This wireless card is very stuck to the board. If you attempt this, you're probably going to end up damaging your board. Um, this board's already damaged. Okay, I can hear that adhesive separating. So you can pull it up. If you want, you can warm it up a little bit just to make the adhesive a little softer, but you don't want to apply too much heat or you can damage it. Um, and I'm just wiggling this board out. It's slowly coming out, but it looks like that adhesive. So there's that adhesive there. What you can do is you can use like a needle or a pry tool or a small screwdriver and then just get between and then push the adhesive back down onto the board. Um, be careful with that because you can um, damage the board. So as you can see, the wireless card pops up backwards like that. And then after that, you can pull the card out. Okay. So if you need a new wireless card, it has the spare number here, L17365-005. Hopefully that was visible. I don't know. Okay. And then the CPU and the GPU are underneath this board and the RAM is underneath this metal plate. I just use my fingernail or a pry tool and try and get underneath the corner. Let's see, this one's very tight. And then you can pop it up just like that. All right, so here you can see. Okay, so here you can see the RAM. All right, so pull these two tabs to the side. The RAM should pop up just like that. And then you got the stick of RAM. It's four gigs PC4 2666V. Okay, so it's a DDR4. All right, so the RAM is replaceable. If you wanted to upgrade it, you probably can put like an eight gig stick or something in there. 
um, though depending what you use your computer for it might not really help too much I believe um, they do sell like 16 gig and possibly even uh, 32 gig sticks of RAM of DDR4 RAM so just make sure you get the same speed and you can use that um, but that's pretty much all there is to this computer uh, let's see here this piece okay so it does pop up and then I think it gets stuck here that's weird Hmm, why is it stuck on that clip? Oh, there we go. So you can remove this piece by just lifting the board slightly. You don't have to take the board completely out. And then you can remove this um, DC jack or the charge port like this. Um, there's this model number, 799735-851. So if you need that, um, hopefully that'll help you. Okay. So that's pretty much all there is to this computer. Hopefully this video helped. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help me. And thank you for watching. Bye.